Me and Chris are gonna play King of the Mountain. If I just leave you in the middle and you can't catch anything once I get up there, it's all strategery. I'm not helping you. I'm not gonna help you. Get off fish! Get off fish! Oh! That's not fair. And you're yelling, get off fish. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. I've got a good one for you today. Me and Chris are gonna play King of the Mountain, which the way I interpret that is who gets to control the trolling motor. Here's, the, here's basically the rules. Here's the rules. Chris has these worms in this bag from the 70s, okay? They're in like a, is this red bug you think? Close maybe? They're in like a red, no, it's not red bug. Like yeah, they're red, but they got purple flake in them. They're really long curly tail, like it's, they're a big worm. So we're gonna rock, paper, scissors, and we're gonna see who starts at the front of the boat. Now, initially, Chris, we're both gonna have to fish with that worm. Okay. The first person who gets bit, though, gets con to control the trolling motor, mm -hmm. and they get to change to whatever worm they want. Okay. The person in the back always has to fish with that worm, you period. This worm or any setup you want? This, on any setup, but you gotta fish with this worm. Because here's the thing, we've got an hour and a half to fish. Once that hour and a half is up, so that will be at this point, it'll be 1.30. It's 12 o'clock right now. At 1.30, who is ever at front of the boat wins. It doesn't matter how many fish, you just have to be at the front of the boat at the end of it. But the challenge is, is you're in the back of the boat and you gotta fish these worms to get to the front of the boat. So whoever is in the back is, is at a disadvantage. So I guess we rock, paper, scissors now. Are you a rock, paper, scissors shoot or are you just a rock, paper, scissors? Rock, paper, scissors shoot. Okay, rock, paper, scissors shoot. I, I got you on rock, that's the best two out of three. Oh, yeah. Two out of three, yeah, we'll do two out of three. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. <laughs> rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Okay, all right, one. here we go, here we go, last one. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Ah, Chris, Chris is at the front of the boat. I should have not gone two out of three. That was my fault. I should have just taken the win and gone with it. So Chris has got control of the front of the boat. We got to catch a fish on this worm. Let's go. All right, Chris, so tell me about this worm. So back in the day, they called it a tournament worm. I don't know who made it, but we used to just fish brush tops with a big heavy weight and just drop it down and jig them in brush tops. Okay. It seemed a lot bigger when I was younger. Well, yeah, you were littler. Now you're a big old headed, never mind. Let's, uh, let's let the tournament begin. Last one at the front of the boat wins. We got an hour and a half. Doesn't matter how many fish you catch, you just gotta be at the front in an hour and a half. If I just go full speed around for an hour and a half, I Pretty much, if, you, if I just leave you in the middle and you can't catch anything once I get up there, it's all strategery. I'm not helping you. I'm not gonna help you, this is, dang. Number one. Let me splash my camera. Well, now you can change to whatever you want or keep that one, but you definitely have secured control of the boat. It was even until now. It's really not a bad worm. Like you made it out to be like it was gonna be some giant monstrosity. Oh, no, 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 I had him. I was about to get control of the boat. Get my drop shot back. That little stinker didn't have the hook. That's a pretty good one right there. That is a really nice fish. Oh, you son of a gun. Need a net? Yes, please. If you don't mind. Of course. Of course you need my help. Came <laughs> off just in time. I hope you choke on Number three. Number three. But all it takes is one and you're the winner. Yeah, I've just got to wait till the end. I've just got to wait it out till the end to get that bite here in about an hour. <laughs> oh. Finally. Finally. I'm going to make sure you stay on this time. <laughs> I'm going to make sure you stay on this time. I need my drag and drop. I need, I need, my, I need my drop shot. Hurry up. <laughs> I catch another one. I mean, 
matter if you catch one right now or not, I still get control. Why is that? How'd you cut the next fish? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Uh-uh. Get off. Get off. I just caught one. Gutted him a little bit, and now I'm screwed because Chris has just got one. He's, he's barely hooked too. Shut up. <laughs> look at that. Shut look up. Look what he's holding on. Just a little skin of his lip. I don't care. I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. Dude, I wasn't even recording that. So I caught one. I'm sure I got something. I'm sure you got something. I caught one. Basically, got it in. He was a little gut hooked. I started working on him, and then Chris caught one before I could. Get to the front of the boat. All right, I'm calling it now. When the person in the back catches it, you have to put down your rod. Like the rod has to come back in. It's over. That's that's not even fair. That's not fair. And you're yelling, get off fish. It's getting comical. I don't know how many fish I've missed now. I'll tell you something. This next one better hang on. Because he's about to get the hook set of his life. He better hope he's got some weight to him. Otherwise, he's fine. This ain't going to happen again. I feel bad for the little fish that bites this next. Look, I told you I was going to set the hook on him. Oh, hang on a second. Get your ass to the back of the boat. Get to the back of the boat. About time. All right, finally, finally I get control of the boat. Goodness gracious. Now I'm going to pick up my drop shot because drop shot has worked back here in the past. 30 minutes. Oh, when we stay in control. All right, there we go. I still get to keep my top position up here. Got him. That's what I'm talking about. We got what? Like six and a half minutes left. Nice little guy. On the drop shot, you can catch big ones, you can catch small ones. Drop shot just does it, does what it does. It's a good little bait. So glad I figured it out this year. Thanks, buddy, keeping me in there. And that's one less Chris can catch. Three, two, one. Lines out, end of period. All right, folks, that's gonna do it. I'm your champion. I'm king of the mountain, even though I'm in the back of the boat right now. But there he is, showing his butt, because he lost. Anyway, we're gonna get out of here. If you guys enjoyed this, if you've got any recommendations for challenges, sort of like this one, like King of the Mountain, where we have to fish with some weird bait, like that one is nearly 50 years old. It's an old bait that you had to be stuck with. It actually didn't do too bad. I didn't think the bait was really that bad, Chris. Like, you made it out when you were describing it like it was gonna be terrible. Yeah, I mean, it wasn't like an old monster. That's what I thought when he was describing it. We're gonna have like an old monster worm. But it worked. Um, I got bit, I don't know how many times on it. I just couldn't get them in the freaking boat. But when I finally did, things changed. Got on the drop shot, got a few fish after that. Chris, you actually did really good on the drop shot too, buddy. Yeah. Like you're, you're getting there. Again, if you guys have any recommendations for challenges like that, just let us know. We'd love to hear them. And as always, hit the like button. Hit the uh, subscribe button, turn it from red to gray. 
and uh, hit the ding dong notification so you'll be notified anytime we drop a new video. And yeah, that's gonna do it for today's. Uh, we're gonna get out of here. We're getting off the lake. Y'all have a good one. Later.